Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with our three-chambered composter for an update. And as soon as I pulled this out, the first thing I noticed were a few pot worms. There's one over here. There's some worms down here in the red wiggler chamber. And some more pot worms over here. So just got home from work and put together a box with some worms for a friend for tonight, but I didn't want to miss my update. So let me mount my camera up so I'm not shaking around and we will start out taking a look at our European night crawlers. The level has not dropped a whole lot this week, so I'm eager to see how it's going. Okay guys, so here we are with the European night crawlers. Um, I pulled all of them out and I will tell you, there's a cocoon. Um, I did find one dead worm and I'm not exactly sure why. I'm hoping it was just an old age thing, but I will tell you that dead worms smell really bad. So I would have known if the whole bin had died off because when I had a die off in the past, there was a horrific smell. Um, and there's not that smell here. But something might be a little amiss in here, so I want to really go through each of these chambers carefully make sure that there's nothing too crazy going on, but I am seeing a lot of these pot worms. Pot worms, you can always tell from a regular worm because they do not have a bloodline, so there's not even remotely a pinkish hue to them. Um, they can indicate a little bit of an acidity issue, um, but in general, they're not harmful. They won't eat your worms. Um, there's another cocoon, but they are actually good for like aquarium fish, so some people will actually encourage them to try to grow for their aquariums. But I'm thinking it's possible that I could have overfed last week and that could have created a little bit of an acidity issue. But in general, everything else in here looks okay. I see some mites, but not a ton. Actually, I think the mite numbers are a little bit better than they were last week. But look, there's another cocoon by my thumb. So. I'm going to chalk that one dead worm up to just an issue of probably a little bit of old age. Perhaps the acidity got to him, but most likely if the acidity got to him, it was because his time is up. Although most worms have a lifespan of as long as uh, several years, but I have had my worms for a while. There's another cocoon. But I think because of this issue today, I'm going to add a whole lot of my dry mix. There's another cocoon down there. Translucent, very fresh. Um, add a bunch of my dry mix and actually mix it all the way through here and then add the contents back and we'll skip, skip feeding this week. But all in all, I was a little bit concerned at first, but look at all these cocoons in here. I think these worms are just fine. So I'm going to mix in some of the um, dry mix and then we will take a look at the red wigglers. Okay guys, so here's the red wigglers. And there was a mating pair. Now I'm trying to find where they were before they got camera shy, but perhaps they did get camera shy. I can't. Aha, there they are. So, mating worms look like this. They're kind of tied up together. I don't want to bother them anymore. I just pulled them out and I'm going to put them back in their chamber to finish their business. Um, but let's see. No smells in here. Still see some pot worms, some mites. There's a cocoon there. There's a cocoon down by my thumb. Look at all those cocoons, guys, right in that one little handful down to the right. Is that not awesome? Little mites running around my thumb, too, but that's okay. And I did turn the bedding top to bottom in the European Nightcrawler bin. I, I mixed in a lot of the dry mix, and I think it's a good idea when in doubt, always skip feeding and run it a hair on the drier side, especially in a contained 
kind of tightly contained system like this that might not get as much air as it should to the bottom. And I'm just, you know, going to leave them for a week and let things even out, although all of the worms look great and they are obviously reproducing. So we can't be doing everything wrong. But I mean, this could not look more fantastic. There's cocoons everywhere. There's worms everywhere. They're all throughout here. No real signs of food. Just lots of bedding left over. So, you know, bedding is a food for the worms. So I don't have to worry about not feeding them that they're going to starve or leave the bin, anything like that. They won't. They won't do that. There's two more cocoons. Is that another mating pair? No, just a guy with a large clatel in there. But seriously, guys, I'm, I'm super, super impressed. So I'm going to put these guys back, mix them up with some more um, dry mix as well, and then put them loosely back into their chamber so that there's plenty of air. And we will finally finish off with the African Nightcrawlers. Okay, guys, so last but not least, we have our African Nightcrawlers. And any of these smaller worms, I'm pretty sure, had to have been hatched in this bin because it's been running long enough. Look at this humongous guy right here. Look at how long and large he is. This is a super mature large worm. If I lay him out, look at that. Ooh, we're getting some good flash neon flashes there. And this one, my lighting must be just right. You miss those flashes sometimes. But it's one of my favorite things by far. Hoping to spot a few cocoons. I did see one as I was pulling stuff out and then got it got lost as I was covering everything up. Again, there's some um, mites and potworms in here, but they're no big deal. Again, I got big worms in this handful. And they're just doing fantastic as well. Um, the African night crawler cocoons are sometimes a little bit harder to come by, a little bit harder to spot, but um, all in all, I almost thought I saw one. This is looking great, so I'm just going to search for another minute or two, see if we can at least spot a cocoon. But the good news is it looks like it was just one random worm that died, and honestly, the only other worms I've ever found dead were um, in the glass vase experiment that I killed off because it got anaerobic in the bottom, which was my concern with this one. Um, and then in my European Nightcrawler bins, I have found worms die before. I'm not really sure what it's about, but I've come to realize that just like humans, worms do die at some point. Um, and for some reason, the European Nightcrawlers don't seem to break down and give back to their friends quite as quickly. So we get the unfortunate experience of seeing firsthand what they look like and how they smell when they're dead. But there's a cocoon right there. So it's looking great in here. There are a few cocoons. There's definitely some smaller baby worms in here. So all in all, everything in here is doing absolutely fantastic. I could not be more pleased, um, very relieved that there wasn't an issue in the bin, or at least nothing serious by any means. So I'm going to do the same thing here, just mix in some of this um, dry mix that I use. You guys know I always link it in the description. Honestly, just a random combination. Whoa, tell I haven't slept. Random combination of um, different dry ingredients that provide grit some trace minerals, pH buffer, bug control. It's literally does a little bit of everything. And I'm just going to thoroughly mix this all the way through and then add my worms back in as loosely as possible. So there's plenty of airflow. And 
will leave the whole bin for another week. But um, I actually realized that the little thermometer probes that came with this kit would probably be a great thing for me to utilize to kind of stir up the bottom every couple of days to make sure that there's enough air getting down to the bottom. So I might, I might start doing that. I'll let you guys know if I do. But all in all, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Have you ever had a similar experience finding dead worms? Because man, guys, it is a very foul smell. Um, I can't get over how beautiful these worms are. So drop those comments below for me, guys. Like this video. Subscribe for some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.